so in this video lecture we will be performing some basic formatting skills which will help us in the better presentation of data and also to improve the overall look and feel of the data present in the workbook so in the given example we will be doing some quick formatting related edits in columns i to k based on the information provided in column l so first of all in column I, we can see that there is no currency denomination for income from US for employees working across various MNCs. To change this, we will go to cell I10 and press Ctrl plus 1. Now a new dialog box will open up. Here click on the currency option and select the appropriate currency which is dollar in our case. Then reduce the number of decimals to 0. Once this is done, click on OK. So as you can see, cell i10 has been changed to a new format which is the currency format. Now we can simply use format painter to copy this format to the other cells. We can use the paste special alternative to achieve the same result by simply copying the cell and then pasting the desired format by using the keys alt est in a sequential manner. Now in column j. EPF contribution is a number format and should be changed to a percent format. Here, we can simply click on cell J10 and then press Ctrl plus 1 again. Now select percentage and reduce the decimals to 0 or anything as desired. Let's consider 0 in our case. Once done, click on OK. So just for your reference, we have another shortcut, Alt plus HP, which can be used to convert numbers into percentage. So as you can see now, this has been changed to percentage format. Now simply use Format Painter or use the Paste Special function as we discussed earlier to copy this to the other sides. So let's proceed. Suppose we want to change the date format to the one shown in cell L12. We can do this as follows. Press Ctrl plus 1 on cell K10. Then click on Date and select the seventh option from the top. Now click on OK and you're done. So this is how the date format is changed. Now, suppose we want to change the format of a cell to one which is not present in the format cells dialog box. Then we can use the custom option. So suppose we want a date format similar to the one existing in cell L14. And suppose this is not there in the date menu. So then we can simply press Ctrl plus one and go to custom and then simply type DD MMM in the type menu. So this will change the date to a desired format. Now copy this to the other cells by using Format Painter or Paste Special like we discussed earlier.